Dinobods, we are going to push and press. We're going to start off with the largest upper body muscle group, the chest and back. Then we're going to get into the vertical pushing to help develop your shoulders, the anterior delts, medial delts, triceps, and all the muscles around the rotator cuff. We're going to have a fun time. Hope you enjoy it. We're going to start off with just a warm up arm circles. And around the other way. And again, arm circles. Let's try one forward, one back. Get those shoulders warmed up. And the other way, one forward, one back. Let's do some chest stretches. Side bends. Slowly but surely warming up the body. And let's do some running on the spots, bring the knees up. Yes, we've got to warm up the lower body, not just the upper. From there, let's bring the elbow to the knees. One side in the other. Exhale, exhale. A couple more. And some snap kicks. And legs are warmed up. We're going to do some slow motion burpees. We're just going to touch down into a low squat and up for one again touch down low squat and up two more okay we're going to get onto the floor grab a heavy dumbbell we're going to be doing single arm floor floor presses to start off with and then we're going to do a single arm bent over row Now depending on the, how heavy a dumbbell you have, you can also add two dumbbells together. I do that as an example. So if I, my one dumbbell isn't heavy enough and I want to add to it, I can cross it over. Now that's if you're comfortable with doing it, you don't have to. I just want to kind of show how you do it. So you're up here. Gonna bring it down so the arm is just lightly touching and then bring it back up. Inhale down and exhale up. Again down and up and keep going. So I'm gonna move that off to the side and continue with you. Inhale, exhale. Go for three more. Slow down a little bit quicker on the hip. And one more. And switch sides. 90 degree angle. And up. Getting a nice stretch on the chest here. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nice and slow and controlled. One, two, three down, and then one, two up. One, two, three down, and that up. Slowly inhale, and exhale. Let's go for four more. Three. Two. Last one. All right, slowly sit up. If you're having trouble with having a heavy weight, plunk it off to the side. Now we're going to get into the bent over rows. So for here, don't bend forward, squat down to grab that weight. 
So my feet are more or less astride. Bring your forearm onto your top of your thigh, and you're going to bring the dumbbell up, keeping the elbow in close to the body. So you exhale up, slowly bring it down for one. Exhale up, and down. Exhale up, and down. Again, you keep going. You can bring, if you want a little bit more weight, you can do the same thing here. Exhale up, and down. Of course, with a heavier weight, you're not going to be able to do as many reps. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Forearm on the thigh. Keep that elbow in close to the body. Don't drop the shoulder. All right, keep the shoulders in line. Two. Exhale up for three, four, five. I'm going to do a little more with a heavy weight. Keep going, keep going. Go for four, three, two, and one. So a little break. We're going to do that set again. Okay, let's go on to the second set. And down, and exhale up for one. Down, and two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Get a nice 90 degree angle on the arm. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Make sure that you keep your head in alignment. Don't turn your head off to the side. Trying to keep it away from that dumbbell. So if you had two dumbbells, right, you're going to bring it here. The nice thing with what we're doing is that we're really working asymmetrically, keeping that core nice and strong. Go for four, three, Two and one. All right, back to the bent over rows. And let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. And again, 15, 14. Keep the elbow in close to the body. Exhale up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. And take a break. Last set, the same exercises. Let's go for 15. This time, try to drive it up really quick. Inhale and exhale up. Get down and up. Down and ten. And nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch sides. 
Again. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Get into the bent over rows. Slide a little bit over this way. And let's go for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Switch sides. Last one of the bent over rows. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a little break. We're good. Two new exercises to go. So the next on the list is a chest fly and then swimmer planks. So you're going to get, again do the chest. So rather than doing the presses where you're bringing the arms at a 90 degree angle, you're going to bring the arms out. So you're not extending it to lock it out, you're keeping just slightly bent, keeping the elbow soft and bringing it out. So you're bringing it out wide. Again we're doing one single arm at a time. So this one, I need to be far out so I don't bang onto the wall. Again, I'm going to use the same weight. So if you're not comfortable with it, you can pretend you're using two arms and then back. So you're bringing it off to the side and for two. And for three. Stretching out that chest. Five. Six, seven, eight. Now, if you're having a little lighter weight in this, you know, I'm only doing 10 reps aside because I got a fairly heavy weight. If you can, you get a lighter weight, do as many as you can. If you can get to 12 or 15, that's great. Right? If you're doing any more than that, you probably have too light of a weight. That's it. Three, four, and you're wrapping it around. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if you did a few more, keep going, and I'll place this down. Next, like I said, we're going to get into some swimmer planks. So we're going to get into our plank position. And in this plank position, we're going to bring the hand up and then back down and alternate for two and three. Let the head, the eyes, follow that hand. Don't stick the butt up high. Keep the core nice and tight. Tighten those butt cheeks, keep them nice and strong, your whole core, everything nice and strong. Just working those shoulders. Let's go backwards. For one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and two more. Last one, drop down, grab some water. Yes, we're going to do that one again. So like I said, I'm going to drop the weight down a little bit. I'm going to try to get a little bit more of an extension of the arm. All right, now again, with, if you're having a little trouble with your 
body kind of twisting. Bring your feet out a little wider. Widens the base, makes it a little bit easier if you're having trouble. Right, and in again. And for one. Two. Three. Four. Inhale, down, and exhale up. Five. Six. Seven. You should feel a nice stretch of the chest. Eight. Nine. And ten. Switch sides. And again. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Place it off to the side. Swimmer planks. And let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and backwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down your knees. Again, quick little water break, and we're going to get on to the next set. So this is our last round set. We're going to be changing it up in a little bit. So let's get back between the chest flies one more time. Feet wide enough. And down and for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Over to the other side. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. And let's get into that Shh. nice little swimmer pl planks, plank swimmers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. Going backwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, drop down to your knees because we're going to get into our next set of exercises in just one momento or half a momento. So the next set of two exercises are going to be the standing press out and then the lawnmower rows. So again, we're going to be working the back. First, we're going to start off with the core. Now, don't you don't need to go super heavy, but you want to get enough so they're really engaging the core. So I'm going to go back to the one that I finished off with, which is a little lighter than what I was using initially. So for this one here, for the press outs, have the your hands around the top of the dumbbells, elbows in close to the body, and you're going to press out and bring it back. And out and back. And again, hold out for one, two, and then back. Tighten those butt cheeks. Keep your bottom part of your body nice and strong. Let's go for 
four more, and back, three more, and back, two more, and last one, hold it, and back. Lawn more rows. So this one here, you're going to be doing the back row, but what you're going to end up doing with this row is you're going to bring the elbow in close to the body and you're just going to turn just slightly and bring that dumbbell to your floating rib. All right, so from here we're going to bring it up for one, for two, for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One and two. And over to the other side. I'm going to stop looking this way while I'm doing it. All right, and let's go for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That gold darn lawnmower just doesn't want to start. Oh, maybe next time I'll put it the start button on. Take a little break. Yep, I have one more time. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here I am. Okay, let's do this one again. Standing press outs. So, for this one here, I am going to go a little bit lighter again. Not that much lighter, just a little bit, five pounds less. And I'm going to try to hold it for an extra count. So, bring it in up. Elbows in close to the body and bring it out for one, two, three, and back. And again out for one, two, three, and back. And again, one. If you really try to focus on squeezing those glutes, your butt cheeks, that's going to help keep the core, your whole body nice and tight as you extend that dumbbell out. And again out for two, three, four, and back. And again, up for four, three, two, one, and back. Let's go for three more. For one, two, three, and back. And again, three, two, one, and back. Last time, for three, two, and one. One more, more rows. Can't say that one very well, can I? Slide that over. So this time, I'm going to try to get a little bit more rotation in it, bring that shoulder up, but I want to keep that dumbbell in close to the body, right? Bringing it to the floating rib, right? Don't drop the shoulder either. Try to keep the shoulders in a line. Keep the, the uh, shoulder girdle more or less engaged, your rotator cuff nicely in neutral position. And let's go up for one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go for one more and two more. Twelve. That's it. The other side. And then let's go for twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Darn it, I think I flooded the engine. So I might as well take a little break. Then we're going to get into the next set of two exercises. This one here, we're going to start off with using the dumbbell for an Atlas press. So this one, you can go a little bit heavier. And then after that, we're going to do tricep extensions front and back. That one you're going to want to go lighter. A lot lighter if you have, because it's a little trickier. So I'm going to start off with the Atlas press. And this one here. So what you want to do is whichever hand that you have wrapped around there first, remember, because you're going to switch over to the next side, 
time using the other hand. All right, so we're gonna bring it over from one shoulder, exhale up and bring it back down to the other side. All right, and let's go for one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Now for this one here, it is tricky, so I'm gonna go with, I don't really have the weight that I want. I have it in a kettlebell that's a little tricky to do, so I'm gonna go a little bit lighter just so I can show you what we're doing. So we're gonna be doing a um, tricep extension front and back. So the way this works is you're gonna bring that elbow up nice and high. So I'm having it in front, I'm gonna bring it up, and then back, and then, okay? So let's go right in front, bring it up, and then back, and again, front, and then back. So you wanna keep that pivot point. That elbow is more or less stationary. Even with a lighter weight, you're going to feel this one here. And one more forward, and then one more back. Switch sides. So you don't have to go heavy with this one. And again, forward, and back, and then forward, and then back. Inhale down. Exhale up. So you always want to exhale on exertion on the harder part. There we go. That's it. Keep going. Three more full ones. Two more. And back. And last one forward. And then back. Beautiful. We have to do that one more time. And then we got another set of dumbbell workouts to do, and then we're down to doing body weight. Getting back to that atlas press. Notice I squat down. I didn't bend forward to grab it. So I'm gonna re reach with my other hand on it first, back onto the shoulder, and let's go up and down for one, and for two. And three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many more we got? We got two more. Oh, we only have one more. Okay, that sounds good to me. Place it down. A little bit out of the way. Grab. A nice light one here for doing the tricep extensions. Elbows up high, dumbbell in front, and then all the way up, and then back. So with this kind of like a extension or kickback, you can extend that arm all the way. You don't really have to worry about ex hyperextending that elbow. If you can't get proper form here, then you have too heavy of a weight. Try to keep that elbow more or less stationary. For two more, both sides forward and back. And last one, forward and back. Let's do it. Elbow up, forward and back. Forward. Back, again, back, one, and two, and one, and two. Let's go for one more this way, one more this way, and another one this way. Oh, heck, let's do one more. Why not? We've got to do both sides. 
pretty much the same amount. All right, let's get into the next set of exercises right away. We're going to do a uh, dumbbell uh, Arnold shoulder press. So this one you can go a little bit heavier than what we did with the tricep extensions. So with the Arnold press, you're going to have it so the palm is facing towards you. Then you're going to bring it up and back down. All right, and let's go for it. Exhale up and back down for one, for two, for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides, palm facing, and then out forward for one. And two, three. Keep that elbow in close to that body. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's into the bicep curls. We're going to do a three-way bicep curl. So that elbow is going to stay in close to the body. We're going to start first start to bring it over to the, the dumbbell to the opposite shoulder and back. Then we're going to bring it forward and back and then off to this side and back. All right? Shoulder, forward, side. Yeah, if you keep that elbow right all along the body, right, you do a nice, good curl without trying to sway the body at all. And nice concentrated curl. Last one. One, two, and three. Switch sides, shoulder, front, side, and again, shoulder, front, side. One, two, three, and again, one, two, three. Couple more to go. Two, three, two more. One, two, three. Shoulder, forward, and side. Okay, we have to do this one more time, but we'll let you grab some water. Piece sit down, take a little break. So let's do that dumbbell Arnold shoulder press again. 10 reps aside if you can do it. And bring it up for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Three-way bicep curls and shoulders. Word. So the one to the shoulder, you can be doing a little bit more of a hammer curl. Two, and then off to the side. So you're working the biceps a little bit differently, working that forearm a little bit differently. A couple more. One, you're starting to feel it now. I am. Two, and three. Oh, mommy. Other side, one, oh, shoulder, forward, off to the side. Shoulder, two, three. One, two, 
three. That's it. Keep that elbow close to that body. We got two more to go. Last one. Shoulder forward and side. Place the dumbbell down. We are almost done. We're now into our nice little afterburner. And we're really going to burn those shoulders. Work that upper body. Why? Because we're going to do the Hindu or dive bomber push up. One of my favorites. So we're going to get into our downward dog position to start off. And the, the heels should be pushed down so they're fairly close to the ground. Arms extended. And we're going to come down all the way down into upward dog and then come back. And let's go for one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, there we go, and hop, walk, or whatever, get back up, and grab some water, and it's cool down time. Step forward, hand comes up and over, bring the other hand around, see if you can interlock those fingers, Whew. it's kind of tough doing that after pumping out those arms. See if you can touch the fingers at least. Get as close as you can. Focus on your breathing in around the belly button area. Nice deep breaths, all right? And let's swing the arms around to warrior two pose. We're gonna lean forward and down, bring the other hand up. Get a nice stretch of that chest, look up that hand that's up high. Remember, control that breathing. And then switch over to the other side. Nice. Feels good on that upper body. Let's work those hamstrings. Yeah, we didn't work them that much. We still want to stretch them. This is one of the one areas that needs to be stretched pretty much all the time. We always do a lot of sitting, be it at work, in a car, or whatever. We want to make sure we stretch out those hamstrings. And let's get into that pigeon pose. Bring the head up high. Get a nice little back extension here. Bring the foot back and step forward with the other one and come on up. And then again, try to work those fingers together as best you can. Your feet should be more or less not right one in front of the other. Have a little bit of a space here. And then from there to your warrior two pose. I like to have my toe in line with my heel. Good old martial arts training. Lean forward and back. Put the hand up. And keep breathing, keep breathing. Over to the other side. And let's get into that pigeon pose. Or sorry hamstring stretch. Getting ahead of myself. Lean forward with the chest. Should feel a nice stretch back there. Oh yeah. That toe up. That helps a little. Try not to stretch. Like try to keep your spine as in alignment as best as possible. And we're getting into that pigeon pose.
Okay, back to plank. And then walk, step forward, however. Last little bit, bring the feet nice and wide. Stretch out those lats, bending over the one side. Stretch the hamstring one more time. Over the other side. Center. Slowly come on up. Roll the shoulders and exhale and palms up, breathe in. And slowly exhale. And one more. And we are done. Great job. You guys did awesome. Give yourself a hand. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future workouts or exercises, let me know in the comment section below. Just remember, you're never too old.